Welcome to the lab on McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator, or McAfee EPO for short. The general purpose, as we discussed in the lecture, is to administer your antivirus protection for a large enterprise. So this is not the sort of thing that you would purchase if you just had like five workstations to protect. Now, I worked for a company a couple of years back where I was the security admin, and I did use ePolicy Orchestrator to administer our antivirus, and I was responsible for about 1,200 workstations in about 50 different offices. So a tool like this is certainly necessary. You'd go out of your mind if you tried to do it by hand. So if we look at the components, it says it has these major functions. Manages and deploys products, enforce policies on your endpoints, distributes McAfee software, including new products, upgrades, and patches, and reports on your enterprise network security. So essentially, that's everything you need to do to make sure that all of your workstations are protected. Not only workstations, actually, it can do servers. And the idea is that you can have a console that makes very clear which workstations are covered and which are not. You can divide them into groups, and you could, or you can look at them individually and get a view as to what's going on in terms of what workstations are covered, which ones are not. Do you have the latest signatures downloaded, et cetera? So let's look at the diagram here, and it kind of gives you an idea. So first of all, if you look at this EPO server here, this is McAfee's website right here, and you have a server inside your building that's going to be talking to that. So it obviously has to keep pulling the signatures and updates from there. And here you have a SQL database, which you can use, which obviously is going to make sense because you're going to be pulling a lot of a lot of data to be stored. So you might want to put that on a SQL database. Here is your web console. This is where the admin is going to sit to see all the workstations and uh, to see what's been, you know, what you have downloaded, etc. Uh, that's browser based, so you can pretty much. Uh, see this from anywhere. And if you look right here, you have agent handlers. So what does that mean is you have an agent that's going to be installed on every workstation that you need to have your antivirus on. That agent is what feeds the data to your console so you can see the status of, of each uh, individual workstation. Now, the other thing they have here is distributed depositories. So like in my case where I had 50 offices, you could in fact have a distributed repository so that if you had a, a remote site in, in say, Texas and your main office was in New York, you would have a, a repository for the signatures right in Texas, or each office that you have doesn't have to pull your data across the internet, which would be less efficient. So that gives you a basic idea of what this does. I mean, we could sit here for you know the next two days to just to give you all the details. But if you want, you can go ahead and read through this manual. But if you go to the McAfee website on EPO, they have several fairly good videos on how to use the whole thing. My opinion of those videos is that they're okay, but not excellent. But take a look. That is the end of this lab. Thank you very much for watching.